Whatever else you want to say. Um, so, Jim, go ahead with what you were telling me about the, the wood uh, clientele you have out there. Yeah, right we, we make a package uh, that's sold in New Germany State Park. They sell about 3,000 of them a year. We wholesale them to them. To $3, we're raising the price of three quarters. Uh, three quarters of the Chinese bag went up. <laughs> and uh, Chestnut, and Ridge, <laughs> Chestnut Ridge Gas and Liquor and a couple other small shops and campgrounds in the area will buy them occasionally. Wendy's World at Confluence and uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that area. Down but there. you said you've got plenty of clientele kind of like it could be on a waiting list oh, yeah, to we, get we have We have a, a list of people we can make, make calls to. And as far as your suppliers, you've got a real good supplier. Yeah, for, yeah, uh, real good supplier. Uh, Glock Felty Lumber uh, has been our supplier for the last 10, 12 years. We've got a couple other loggers we've used, but Glock Felty has been so reliable. Yeah. He calls me when he gets into a cut that's got a lot of dead wood. Uh, he was Maryland logger of the year, I think, three times. Now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty reliable guy. He's got yeah. the. That's good. The family operation's been around. I think he's third or fourth generation. Glot Felty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you said uh, your total sales this year, I know you're doing your taxes, were about 30 grand or so. Yeah, but plus or minus. Like I mean, plus I, I whatever. Don't have a number yeah. off right off yeah, the top yeah, of my no, head, just a ballpark. It's, it's over 30 grand. And the wood you said is about 20% about of that. 20% and you said you don't do it in the winter obviously it's a no. six-month business where you go to florida yeah we uh matter of fact the wood we you're uh is probably about a four-month business okay yeah. park schedule sure like from memorial day to yeah. labor day is Absolutely. is really when the package wood yeah. moves we've turned down last year we turned down rocky gap oh that's a big and, one uh, yeah. i mean yeah. they want to Four or five thousand, and we just we didn't have enough wood done yeah. at the time yeah. to do it. But yeah, uh, but that's the little yeah. the homeowner there accounts. The homeowner accounts. We have probably got 150 accounts, and whether you can get them all back or not, but I'm right. sure you get some most of them back. Well, I'm good friends with who you said, Eric Recker, around yeah. the lake, so yeah. might be able to make that happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Eric, matter of fact, Eric and Eric has a bad habit of calling a day late and a dollar short. Usually, yeah, <laughs> he'll call the day after he needs it at the turkey, turkey neck or something. Yeah. Like um, the other question was I had was I know you had your elevation survey, mm -hmm. but as far as you say that you were thinking about building some cabins and maybe some well, other we were cabins in the about, about possibly. Putting in some temporary, we looked at some options up at Castleman Sheds, and yeah. they, you know, they don't require near as much permitting. You can run, yeah, you know, run electric to them without too much problems. Uh, permitting on would be pretty easy because they're not a permanent structure. Right. And how does the septic work on that? Do you know? Well, the septic we'd have to put a holding tank in. Holding we, we'd tank. Never, we'd never okay. get a gotcha. A septic. We'd have yeah. To pump. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, they, uh, the the chance, the odds of getting an additional septic tank out here, are, uh, be absolutely honest, slim to none. And yeah. then you would have to go with the mound system. Sure. Whatever. It's we in. Have, we have an over, oversized system because of the store. Right. And uh, yeah. the health department checks. They check our water. <coughs> excuse me, our water and our septic. <coughs> oh, three or four times a year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, okay. Because we bag our own ice. That's, okay, yeah. The, big, the biggest problem here is locally, the local vendors are gone. The uh, Whitmars, the Economy Grocers, whatever, all those. Uh, Smaller yeah, grocers. Even, even Black. Vernon Russell is gone. And, yeah. You know, so some of the suppliers we used over the years. So we basically, uh, we use Sam's Club for grocery, all the grocery items, pretty much. Yeah, okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that works.
works out pretty well. Yeah. As okay. far as sporting goods, we've got, you got Big Rock out of North Carolina. We use them. We've got an account with them for a number okay. of years. Okay, yeah. And of course, then there's Nicolo's right up here on, on Route 40, right uh -huh. across from uh, St. Anne's Church. Okay, yeah. But uh, we used to do, we used to sell, uh, we had a Mohawk canoe dealership for a while. That's interesting. We used to have, my dad had one when I was yeah. growing up. They, yeah. uh, and like I said, over the years, we've, we've scaled all that stuff back because not having the biggest drawback is I really didn't want to spend the money for HughesNet. HughesNet. I mean, Internet. because when we, going with keeping the fishing and hunting licenses and all, and all the boat registrations, the data was horrendous. Yeah, I sure. I mean, the state was paying us 50 cents a license, and the data time to process a license <laughs> was like $3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If once you went over your limit. So Verizon has uh, promised fiber optic out here for about seven years. Seven or eight yeah, years. that's we what you were saying. Pay phones, yeah. right? um, we actually yeah. used to make a commission on a pay phone. Okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Times have changed. <laughs> on a pay phone. Times have changed. Now is you do you have cellular service here at all? No. No, none. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and then I think I'll take a video out back there when when yeah, we're I'm done. Glad oh, the other thing I wanted to ask Jim is, um, on the liquor license, you said that for a Garrett County resident, it would transfer. It, but, would, it would transfer immediately for a Maryland resident. I think it, we would have to hold the license for six months. Okay. Now, we when we bought the place, we were coming in from Florida. And the original owner had held it for a year. We had to yeah. you know, maintain one year of residency in Garrett County. Okay. And yeah. What it, what it goes now, Jerry can fill you in on that because she maintains that license. Okay. And then, is there any other permits you can think of that trans that would transfer offhand or uh, not? I don't know what other ones there would be, but. Well, I'm I'm sure that the the fuel license, which. Basically, if, if you want to put a propane fill station back in and that right. kind of stuff, uh, yeah. would transfer. Uh, I, the wood products, I, I could check on it, but I'm sure it probably would. Yeah. Because it's it's not under an individual name; it's under the business. And what is your business name again? BJ's Camp Store. BJ's that. Camp Store. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well, this is good. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll walk back there. Yeah. Okay.